Hi students, in this lecture, I am going to discuss problems based on rolling motion. Let us see. So 74, I have discussed the last class. Now see question number 75. See the question given. A thin spherical shell lying on a rough horizontal surface is hit by a cube in such a way that the line of action passes through the center of the shell. As a result, the shell starts moving with a linear speed V without any initial angular velocity. Find the linear speed of the shell after it starts pure rolling on the surface. This question also taken from HCV, HC Verma. Let us see how to start the problem. Let's see the question given. Right. So it is given that thin spherical shell, right? Thin spherical shell. Spherical shell. Its meaning is hollow sphere. Right. So condition given that it is a heat by a cube in such a way that the line of action passes through the center of the shell. As a result, the shell starts moving with a linear speed without any angular velocity. Right? So Q in the sense, so you might be knowing while playing billiards, you're having a long stick that is called as Q. Okay? So hitting now so that line of action passing through center of mass. That means it is having only velocity, initially only velocity. There is no rotation for that. So we have to find what is linear speed when it starts rolling without slipping. See how to start the question. It is given hollow sphere. Thin spherical shell means hollow sphere. Right. Now focus carefully. For contact point, velocity is not zero. You can see for contact point, velocity is towards right side. But ground, it has no velocity. Means velocity of contact point is not same as that of contact surface. That means it is now slipping. When it is slipping, friction will be connected. And we know that friction always opposes relative motion. With respect to ground, for contact point velocity right side, so friction will be left side. It is a kinetic. Okay. Now see what happens. Mg downwards, normal reaction upwards, both are cancelled. Because there is no motion along vertical. Coming to horizontal, the only force acting is a friction. So this is now net force. Net force. So corresponding acceleration. Acceleration of center of mass, that is Fk by M. So acceleration is opposite to velocity. So we have learned in kinematics 1D that <clears throat> if acceleration and velocity, they are opposite. Speed decreases, right? That means as it is moving, speed decreases at the same time. Because of this force, torque is produced. See carefully, about center of mass. Because of friction, torque will be, it is a clockwise. It means alpha is a clockwise. That means initially omega is zero. Now, torque is present because of frictional force. Therefore, 
omega starts increasing from zero as time passes. Speed keep on decreases. Omega keep on increases at one point of time. Suppose velocity. So take it as velocity, take it as V dash. Okay. Then what happens is at one point of time, V dash will be equal to R omega because it is now rolling on ground. So VCM equal to R omega. Okay. So first I have to focus what is V dash as a function of time. What is omega as a function of time. Then we can simplify this. Right. <clears throat> so coming to V dash. V dash equal to. I am writing V equal to U plus CT. If you take right as a positive. V dash will be. V minus A value. F K by M into t right a value next coming to omega torque equal to frictional force fk into r so frictional force providing torque about center of mass that is clockwise this is equal to i into alpha i value halo sphere 2 by 3 mr square I into alpha. See what is alpha value. One R cancelled. Remaining alpha equal to 3 FK upon 2 M R. Substitute this. Now here in the place of this, see what we get. In the place of V dash V minus F K by M into T that is equal to R into in the place of omega 3 F K by 3 F K by 2 M R. Now simplify this. R, R gets cancelled. 3 by 2. If I am taking this one, wait, wait. It is Omega's alpha t right t is here, t missing. Now 3 by 2. And take this one to right side. 3 by 2 plus 1, 5 by 2. 5 by 2. So V equal to 5 by 2 Fk upon M into T. That means T value how much? 2 Vm upon 5. Fk cross check once 2 mv by f5 fk. Now substitute that, substitute that either in this one or you can substitute in the place of r omega. So I think better you can take in the place of r omega, right? So v dash equal to r omega r. Omega means alpha t, alpha value, 3 f k upon 2 m r, alpha t t value, 2 m v upon 5 f k, right? So v dash equal to r omega, <coughs> r omega equal to alpha t, this is alpha, this is t, f k. Fk cancelled. M, M cancelled. R, R can, sorry, 2 to cancel. R, R cancelled. <clears throat> Remaining is now 3 here. And V is here. And this is a 5. 3 V upon 5. That is velocity of the hollow sphere when rolling starts without slipping. Okay. Now we can solve same question by using conservation of angular momentum directly in one single step. <clears throat> See how to get it. Initially it was here. This is V, no rotation. Finally, 
when rolling starts without a slipping, the C is V dash and it is having rotation. Let us take this as X axis. Okay. This as X axis. So just like the previous question, we can take at about any point on X axis. About any point. Ration is that about any point on this line, net torque on the body is zero. Because according to the statement of conservation of angular momentum, if net torque on a system is zero, then we can conserve angular momentum of the system. Right? So initially only translation. And we have learned that angular momentum for a rolling body is equal to because of a translation plus because of rotation. Okay. So here only translation. So it is simply M into V into R direction part. <clears throat> this is R bar and this is a P bar. R bar cross P bar. So take your right hand place fingers on R bar, curl fingers towards P bar. It is clockwise, means thumb is into the board. That means if we consider this as XY plane, okay, this board as XY plane, it is minus K cap, okay. That is equal to, finally what happens? M V dash R plus because of rotation, it is again clockwise. It is I omega, I value 2 by 3 m r square omega. In the place of omega, we can write V dash by r because rolling on ground for contact point, the last is 0. Okay. Now cancel m r both sides. m 1 r, remaining are cancelled here. Remaining only V here, V equal to V dash plus 2 by 3 V dash. 2 by 3 V dash. Yeah. So what we got here? 3 plus 2, 5. 5 V dash upon 3. That means V dash is equal to 3 V upon 5. Okay. So it is very simple if you are using conservation of angular moment right